Hello, City of Dayton, and welcome to my home office. We're gonna launch today our workout of the month. And so this one is gonna be our inaugural workout of the month. The goal is to give you all 10 minute workouts that you can do from your desk space. And hopefully it helps kind of get you moving a little bit more, gives you some ideas of what you can do even from your desk. Why 10 minutes? Well, the American Heart Association recommends 150 minutes of activity per week of moderate intensity. Um, but studies have shown even if we get this in 10 minute bursts, it can help improve our health and improve um, our well being. And sometimes it can even help us a little bit more than doing 30 minutes at a specific time. Um, if you're doing the math, that's 30 minutes five days a week to get that 150 minutes. So we can do it in 10 minute bursts. What you're gonna need today is desk space and a couple of bands if you have them. Um, if not, you can grab some kind of weight or whatever you have like a stapler um, to do arm curls and we'll kind of walk through that. As we go, I'll give you guys some different tips and tricks each, each month on different exercises. Um, first things first, if you have bands, picking out the right band for you. Um, we want to work at a difficulty level of five to eight on a scale of zero to 10, zero being I'm sitting on my butt, 10 being I'm about to work my butt off and I'm about to hurt myself. We don't want you to hurt yourself. So somewhere in that five to eight range, if you start getting a little bit more intense, maybe stop short or um, try to do a lighter weight or whatever you need to do to kind of modify that activity. And generally, your darker the band, the harder it's gonna be. If you see the light or blue, that's really light. It should tell you, if not, the lighter the color, usually the easier it is. I'm gonna pick yellow for myself for today. So we're gonna start out just walking in place and walking in place for about a minute here, um, just to get ourselves warmed up a little bit. And if you have any questions or anything, just feel free to message me. Um, you can text me as well, 937-422-0408. Anything you specifically wanna know about or see, we can kind of feature in the next episode. And we're about 30 seconds in here, so another 30 seconds, just kind of walking in place, getting our body warmed up a little bit. Before you do any activity or exercise program, um, we don't want you to hurt yourself, so if it hurts, just stop. Um, you can skip that exercise if needed. Check in with your provider if you need to, um, especially if you are just starting an exercise routine and don't know what's safe. It's good to check with them and see what you should be doing or should not be doing. And about five more seconds here. All right, and we're gonna start out with squat chair squats. So if you wanna grab your chair, put it behind you, you can step in front a little bit and just sit back and chair squats. And we're gonna do 10. And tip for squats here is you never want your, um, your knees to go in front of your toes. And you can, if you wanna make it a little bit harder, just go down and touch and come back up. Eight nine and ten all right and next we're going to do desk push-ups so if you want to grab your desk the lower the incline the harder it's going to be so if you need you can go against the wall to make it a little easier and we're going to do 10 desk push-ups five six seven eight nine and 10. All right, and we're gonna take a quick second, take a breath, walk in place a little bit. And next we're gonna do incline bird dogs. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. If you wanna make it harder, you can do it on the floor, on your hands and knees. I'm gonna do it from the desk. Um, you can, again, do it against the wall if you need to. So for this one, you wanna be inclined and opposite arm, opposite hand. So right arm comes up, left leg, and a tip, you don't want your hips to move. So it's gonna be pretty tendency to like come that way. You just wanna keep everything perfectly straight. If you're having a really hard time with this, you can just start out kicking out your legs, keeping your arms where they are. And we're doing five each side, four, four, five, and five. All right, nice work. That one's a little bit harder, a little bit more coordination. For the next one, we're gonna do single leg deadlift. 
So for this exercise, if you have weights, you can use those. Um, you can grab anything out of your desk or a stapler or something to just add a little bit of weight. But you're just gonna carefully stick your leg back, come back up. You can use the desk to balance. And again, like those inclined bird dogs, you don't want your hips to move. And I'm not doing the best job today, which is okay, but you just wanna keep your hips straight and come back up. Hip straight, come back up. You don't wanna bend like that. And I'm gonna do six on each side this time. Six. And we're switching sides. Two. Three. You should have a light bend in your knee too. Four. Five, six, awesome. Those are a good one for your hamstrings and lower back. Um, next is dex plank. So we're just gonna go in our position like we did for the bird dogs and just hold it here for 30 seconds. And keeping your body nice and tight and square. If you are having some issues with your wrists, maybe try rearranging them and putting them in different positions. Try putting your hands upside down. Um, if you're still having issues, even doing it against the wall. All right, and that's about 30 seconds. Next, we're gonna whip out our yellow band. And so, Hips, hips are one of the weakest things on our bodies. This is going to be something that's going to be really helpful for you. Um, as far as strengthening those hips, kind of preventing injuries from falling later on. So we have our band. There are different kinds of bands. If you have a band that's just a long and a straight long band, you can also just stick the band underneath your feet. I put the band right above my knees. I'm going to take a slight bend, and then I'm just going to step out, step back in step out to the left side, step back in. And we're gonna do this 10 times each side. And a quick tip on this, you can't see my feet right now. I apologize about that. But you wanna keep your feet pointed straight forward. A lot of people are gonna wanna turn that foot out, which is gonna turn your knee out. You want your knee pointing straight forward in front of you. Again, you do not want your knees going in front of your toes. and just going side to side and hopefully you feel the burn right in these hips, hip flexors right there. And this is seven, eight, nine, and 10. Another quick note on those, if you're doing those, big, big tendencies for people to go side and come back and kind of wobble like their uh, teapot. You wanna be nice and straight. So going on to arm curls. Now we're gonna have another seat in our chair and you're gonna take your band, put it right underneath your leg and come curl up just like that. Again, if you have one of those longer bands that just is a long connecting band, you can just put that band underneath your foot, hold both ends and do the arm curl too. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right, and then the next leg and arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, and then we're gonna do tricep extensions. There's a couple different ways you could do this. Um, if you have a long band, you can stick it in a doorway if you have one available uh, to do tricep extensions. If you have a loop or if you have that long band, you can also just hold it right here. And this is how I'm gonna do it today. And we're just gonna extend. One, two, try to let it come slowly back up. Three, you want your elbow going straight down. Four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and ten. And then the same thing on the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all right, and next we're gonna do chair bicycles. So the beautiful thing about chairs is there's not really a shortage of core exercises you can do with them. So we're gonna lift our legs up. You can use your hands on the bottom of your chair to help support you, and we're just gonna bicycle. And 10, and then that's 10 forward, and we're gonna do 10 backwards. If you're having a hard time with this, maybe keep your feet on the floor and just keep marching in place like that. That'll still give you a good core workout and be kind of similar to what we're doing. I'm gonna go backwards now and if, do whatever you need to do, but now we're just gonna go backwards and bicycle backwards. It's all right if you have to lean back a little bit, try not to lean back too much. And this is gonna work those hip flexors a good bit some more. All right, our last exercise for the day, we're gonna do a shoulder circuit. I'm actually gonna get a lighter band um, just because this one is gonna burn a little bit more than what you probably expect. So I'll use light blue to start. You're gonna wrap your band around your arms and you're just gonna go out 10 times this way. Then you're gonna come up and down 10 times. eight, nine, 10. And last but not least, we're gonna come up and go up above our head. Two, three, four. Try to keep that distance between your wrists. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that's a tough one. So. That does it for today for our 10 minute workout of the day. Um, I appreciate you guys' feedback. If you wanna let me know how you liked it, anything you wanna see, any different type of exercises you wanna see, um, shoot them my way. Stay tuned for our cooking demo of the month. So this month we're gonna have fish tacos coming your way. Um, have a great one, be well Dayton.